Good morning. Real, real quick, y'all. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna, but then I was like, you know, I've got just a minute while I'm waiting on Lenny to do something that he needed to do before we leave. And how am I gonna seek you first if I don't seek you first? So, God's affirmation. All I'm gonna do today is read through, like I said, real quick, just to put his word out there this morning, just to say he's still God, even when I got something to go do, even when I'm busy, even when it's later than usual, and it's Saturday, and all the things. Um, Christ be magnified, Christ be magnified, the Lord be glorified. So Hebrews 7.22 says, All of this magnifies the truth that we have a superior covenant with God than what they experience, for Jesus himself is its guarantor. Guarantor, how do you pronounce that? So what is that saying? We have a better covenant than the covenant of the Old Testament, the Old Covenant of um of atonement and sacrifice through animals, you know, that just uh, that just put it off till the next year, um, bought more time and bought more time, and so on. The blood of Jesus speaks a much better word than the blood of Abel, amen, um, of hope rather than death as an answer and a wage for sin. Thank you. Jesus, thank you, God, for paying that price for us, for absolutely making a way out of no way. So, Magnificent One, I come to you again today through the open door of your Son. Yeah, Jesus called himself the door. He called himself the doorway. The only doorway to the Father is Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh, thank you, God. So, reveal yourself to me in new ways, Lord. Affirm the truth of your word that says that you'll never leave or forsake me. Speak of your promised goodness and awaken my heart to life in the living love of your presence. Awaken my heart to life. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Our hearts can't know love without the Lord, without the Creator. He made us, and He made us to love, but He is love. And without it, without Him, we don't know it. Amen? So wash over me, God, with revelations of grace and streams of assurances. I know that you are more than willing to speak your affirmation over me. Renew your blessing, Lord, just as you did when ja with Jacob when you spoke to him from heaven's door. Jacob's ladder. <laughs> Strengthen and revive me in your presence today as I enter into your throne room by your grace. Hey, through the faith that he put in us. He did it all. He did it all for us, y'all. Made us and then made a perfect way for us back to him. You have said that I am yours, so speak to me of my history and of my destiny. Remind me of what I have forgotten and reveal what has remained hidden until now. I need to be refreshed in your living waters of love. You speak and my heart comes alive. You move and I am undone by your mercy. You draw near me, or you draw me near, and I am covered in your kindness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Adonai. Thank you, my Father, Abba Father. Thank you so much. So just, like I said, just a quick minute to get his word out there into the atmosphere on my page this this morning um, to say he still comes first even on Saturday. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And what else? I want to tell y'all, go listen. I wish I wish everybody would read the book, Return of the Gods, but now there's, there's more out. There's another one out since then. Jonathan Kahn, C-A-H-N. Look them up. There's lots of videos on YouTube and stuff, too. And probably Facebook and I don't know. YouTube's where I saw him. Um, a lot of the good preachers that I listen to have interviewed him recently because he's got a new book out, another one in the works. Y'all, he's piecing together um, the mysteries. He's piecing together how the Bible's not what just what happened in the past, but it's what always happens. Um, it's what always happens by the will of God, by the laws he set in order, by the, um, the statutes, the way of the Lord. He has order. He 
has precise order. You will be amazed at the precise order that Jonathan's pieced together based on Jubilee, based on the principles and foundations of the Word. It's why, you know, you wonder sometimes, why are all these names in the Bible listed so um, meticulously? Why is every date, you know, because it seems irrelevant in just that, that, that surface layer, um, you know, know the Word, um, speak the word over my life, that personal level with it. But on a national and even worldly level, those dates and those names are so significant. Those um, monumental times and seasons and eras um, that take place. And that's what he does. Is he's done like the homework. He's done the research and put these things together. And God continues to reveal. And I don't, not to give him all the credit, he wouldn't even know where to start without the Lord. And he makes that clear, you know, that the Lord will give him a word or, or a prophecy or just a dream or a vision sometimes. And he'll go and do the research on it. And next thing you know, he's got a whole book placing together, piecing together how... Um, God's word remains true. How it continues to be fulfilled over and over, time and time again. How His word truly is timeless and infallible. So I just want to praise Him this morning. I listened um, as I was getting ready for the family reunion. I was listening to um, a video that's an interview of Jonathan Con with um, Vlad, Pastor Vlad um, Sobchak. Uh, Sobchak. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but if you just look up Pastor. Plaster. <laughs> Pastor Vlad, you'll find him. And he is absolutely amazing. And it's God is amazing through this men. Let these men, let's get it straight. Um, but you know, hear the word of the Lord. Hear just it's a good source. It's a, he's an excellent source to tap into the revelation, knowledge of the word, and the spirit, what he will reveal to you when you seek him. To follow, and you know, are hungry to know the truth and and uh, the promises of God. So it's really incredible. So y'all check that out. In fact, I'll go and I'll share that video that I was listening to earlier. Anyways, that's all I'm going to do is that prayer from the throne room to, this morning. To, I don't know what I was about to say. This morning and um, hit the road. I actually was already. In the on the way back in the car, and I was like, "No, I'm gonna stop and do this." So praise God, praise God. Lord, be glorified, be magnified today with our every breath, with our every breath. May we seek you more and love you more. In Jesus' name, I'll see y'all next time.